Hi! I want to show you how you can make your own deckle edge ruler for pairing your paper. So this is the one that I made. And this one is really made easily using a plastic ruler. We Are Memory Keeper has a set of three deckle edge ruler that you can buy for $14. And you can also find a metal one for $17 and it's also a set of three. But you know, if you know me, if I can make my own tool and in more affordable price, I will make it myself. And now that Dollar Tree has this plastic ruler for three for a price of one, you can even make yourself three sets of deckle edge ruler. The idea of making this ruler came to me from my own experience when I was a kid. My mother often like complained to me for ruining my ruler because after a while it will get some chips here and there and it's also the reason why when i do some what is called like a uh, cutting my paper with knife I, I don't like to use plastic ru ruler i would rather use a metal one because it will chip the the smooth edge here so that's the, what we, we are going to do to make our deckle edge ruler we want to chip the plastic here to make this jagged uh, look and i have tried couple ways to make this look i tried using metal ruler i tried my scissors a nail with this 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 is i think this is a wood nail and my favorite one is using a uh, what is it called? A fence, a metal fence. I don't have metal fence around my house, but we have a school in front of, not in front, across our street that has metal fence and there I, where I went to, to, to make my tackle edge ruler. And I will show you one by one each of the method and you can decide which one will fit you better. And of course I will, I will let you know first that my favorite one is the metal fence or chicken coop fence because it's the fattest very easy to do too so what you want to do before you like work on this chipping the mat the plastic you will want to prep your surface because you're chipping the plastic and the plastic needs to go somewhere and you will go to your pebble surface and that's why you will want to put a newspaper or something to catch the the plastic so using the um, metal ruler or using the scissors gives you a similar result it's just very easy and you don't want to use the side that you cut paper with instead you want to use the back side and it's just easy you just want to move it like like this like um, across, along the ruler and up and down, uh, side by side so something like this Um, see here this one already like chip the, the ruler it will take a while because you have to do like in a, any position that you like so, yeah, this is not my favorite method but if I have after I make this and I want some like very very small chip here I can just go back this is the one that I will use to make that more smaller hair looking like something like this and yeah it makes that annoying noise and like I said this metal ruler also give you similar result to this um, scissors like I, have, I use a smaller metal ruler and I couldn't find it for this video so I will just use what I have and sorry about the noise
here you can see that it's coming to get along the shape but it is very very tiny and again same with the scissor it will be like time consuming because you have to do this and then move the ruler so it's not very very time efficient for me and this one one but i learned with this the the chip that it made depends on the size of the chip that it made it depends on the size of the nail that you use the the bigger your nail like circumference the bigger the chip it will it will make it's like this the method is all the same just like this and up and down it's kind of like shaving the shaving ice cream And now you can see that the shape is already start forming. That's where I shift this, the ruler off. So this one is also not easy in my opinion. Although I still use it to, ref to further refine the shape of my ruler. And this one, the one that I didn't use when I made my tackle edge ruler. But I just thought about this that maybe you can do use it be when before I made this video but I don't recommend it because it doesn't feel so safe to me because you're pretty much just shaving it like this like shaving a wood but yeah I don't recommend it it's dangerous the easiest way like I kept mentioning is using your a fence metal fence and you just basically so pretend this is the metal fence and you just do the same as what we did previously like going along the along the ruler and like up and down i took a video of when i made my decal edge ruler in the school and i will show it to you so you have a better idea of how how i did it I've shown you all of the method is super easy no time consuming it's just making a bunch of mess like see you see here like I shift a little bit of this ruler and I already got some mess all around here and yeah if you have any other method that you can think of to shift this this ruler to make your own tackle edge ruler just share with us we would like to hear if you have a more efficient method and by the way, I forgot to mention that whatever method that you use after you finish, you might have a little bit of uneven, like not 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 uneven, kind of like this thing here. I do not know if you can see it. Yeah, it's just like kind of like sh just use your hand to peel it off. So it's, if it is not bothering you, then leave it. If not, just use your hand to clean it off. So it'll be looking like this you don't have that extra plastic around on the edge and that's it it's very easy very quick very simple happy crafting ladies bye